Hello friends, it's Girl A B, and today I am doing a video that was requested by a number of subscribers. Most recently, My Apple is Blue, and that is a video about Chanel patent leather. So as I talked about when I did my designer handbag collection video, there really is not a lot of patent leather on YouTube, it seems. Uh, Patent leather is not something that is released in every collection, like some styles, like obviously the medium large, the classics like that. And so that might be why some people don't have patent leather or most people don't have it. Uh, but I think another reason is that most people don't like the look of patent leather. They think it looks cheap. They think it looks tacky. I disagree. Clearly I have two bags. I used to have four patent leather bags. So originally I had, uh, three jumbos. So I have these two right now, which I will talk about today. And then I had a red one in the same size, same leather. Uh, and then I had a wok that was patent leather as well. So, okay. I have found the quality of patent leather to be quite good in terms of uh, resistance and durability. Meaning if I'm gonna go out and it's raining uh, if I was already out with a patent leather bag, I wouldn't be worried. If I was going to go out and pick a handbag to go out in the rain, no, it would not be a patent leather bag, but these can hold up to rain very well, especially my black one. My black one, uh, I would be fine going out in the rain with this. It's just, you know, I wouldn't necessarily choose this to be out in the rain, but if I was in the rain already, I would not worry about this, if that makes sense. Now, as far as scratches, you don't really have to worry about that with this. So as you can see, I'm running my fingers along it, you know, no issue. Scratches like that, uh, meaning light scratches that you might make yourself accidentally or uh, things that you might snag your bag on, that's not something that you need to worry about making a huge scratch. But if you do have something substantial like you know, you're at a restaurant and your knife accidentally cuts this, then yes, yes, that will make a very large scratch. And that is clearly not something I would suggest. I always have my bags uh, hanging with my purse hook underneath my table when I go out to dinner. The only thing that I have noticed with my bags is Patent leather is, uh, I guess you could say it's sticky. So what my apple is blue asked me was, does patent leather get sticky over time? So that's something that she has heard about. Now I don't mean sticky in the sense that you have to worry about uh, any of this kind of coating coming off. I don't mean that it sticks to like anything that you might have, like these are not, gonna stick together unless I'm pressing them. So I don't know, I think you can hear that, yeah. So obviously patent leather is going to stick to itself quite easily. But what you do have to worry about is the parts where the bag touches itself. So here, as you can see, nope, I just moved that, okay. Now, can you see that around this lock, there is a slight kind of blackish color? I really can't see if you guys will be able to see that, but essentially this, which is, you know, this is the lock here, and then this is the leather surrounding the lock. Essentially, this leather surrounding the lock has made an imprint around the lock down here. And so it is a pretty light black color that obviously you're not gonna see if this is closed because it's covering itself. But when you open it, yeah, you'll see it. So uh, it is annoying. I, no one told me that this is something that I should worry about. Uh, I really don't think it's something that you could change because while you could, you know, put something like this, like the felt that comes with the bag, you could put that in there when you store it. 
so that it would look like this. But you know, when you're wearing the bag, obviously it's gonna be closed. And so this is gonna be touching as long as it's closed. So there's really, unfortunately, no way of getting around that. And that's just something that you have to worry about with a lighter colored bag. Because with black, you know, it may, there may be some kind of indentation or coloring around there, but I can't see it because it's black, so. So perhaps if you want to avoid that and you do want to add a patent leather bag to your uh, collection, then you would probably want to go darker colored. Okay. Uh, that is really the only negative. Um, the other thing I guess that would be a negative to some people is that because patent leather is, in a way it's softer, I have seen this happen. So right there, there's a little bunching, a little wrinkling, I guess you could say. So when I put stuff in there and then I close it up, but you know, that's, I've seen that happen on my, uh, my medium, my medium large flap as well. So I think that's just kind of something that happens with Chanel because it has these different layers of, uh, closures. So. Now, uh, another thing that the subscriber asked about was... Uh, weight. So are patent leather bags heavier or lighter than other leathers? I would say they're definitely lighter. So this is a jumbo. I decided not to get a jumbo in uh, like a caviar leather um, because they were too heavy. I mean, uh, I'm a relatively small person and I don't usually get super large bags, super large shoulder bags. And so the only reason I felt comfortable getting these is because they are very light. So of course there's nothing in here other than padding and it's super light. But even when I stuff these, they're still pretty light. Uh, whereas the only other Chanel bag I have of comparable size is my uh, Chain Around Maxi, which is lighter than caviar because I, I believe it is deer skin but it's still heavier than this. So they're both empty, so. Yeah, this is definitely lighter. So that is a, another pro for patent leather, that it is light and airy if you wanna get a larger bag like a jumbo flap. Okay, so let me just show you, um, you know, every side of the bag so that you can see and I can see if I have missed any kind of wear that is relevant. I think these sides look very good. I have certainly hit these corners on things when I've been walking and you know, they still look very good. I've gotten a lot of compliments on this bag when I'm wearing it, I think because it's a color that you just don't see very often. Of course, a lot of people have the medium flap or the jumbo in a similar beige color, 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 but in uh, usually in caviar leather. So it looks different in patent leather. And I think it, I think it looks prettier, honestly. That's why I own this bag, <laughs> obviously. Okay. And then this is the back. So you can see the stitching looks a little different in patent. So you can see up here, or I hope you can see. Maybe some people would say that that's a little wrinkling, but I think it's just kind of the stitching and how it looks different on patent leather. It's the other side. I think this is the other side. Maybe this is the other side. <laughs> this side has uh, maybe a little more wrinkling. Still, the corners look very good. Uh, 
from the, from the chain link uh, handle has worn very good. No scratches, nothing wrong with this. This is, I find this very comfortable. Much more comfortable than uh, my, <clears throat> sorry, my medium large flap. Uh, because that one kind of cuts into my shoulders when I'm wearing like tank tops, whereas this just seems kind of cushier, maybe because of the, the patent leather through the chain. So yeah. Then my black one, which I have worn a lot less because as I've mentioned before, I have my chain around maxi, which I just tend to wear more as my black bigger bag if I want something. So yeah, this bag is pretty, pretty perfect. And so she doesn't have the same wrinkling at the top, probably just because I've worn her a lot less. So yes, those are my two Chanel patent leather jumbos. So please let me know if you have any questions about patent leather, I would be happy to answer them about quality, uh, I've had these, I don't think I said that I've had these, gosh, it's 2019, you guys, that's so crazy. I think I've had these three, four years. I got a lot of bags at once uh, several years ago, and so when you hear me say the years that I've had most bags, it's almost the same for all of them. So yeah, these are three or four years old, and I think they look great. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that this was helpful. My apple is blue. And thank you, as always, for liking, subscribing, and commenting. I always enjoy talking in the comments. Thank you so much. Okay, bye.